This video is going to be about the basics of understanding drawing tools and how you can use them to plan your trade, make a trade, and just make better decisions overall, whether you're drawing a rectangle simply to show a support zone or a zone that you want to watch, or even if it's something as simple as just writing a text note saying, watch this level so that you know every time you come back to this chart that your notes are here they are shown beautifully on your chart and that they never go away this saves to your profile all the time we're going to go through all of this let's get started okay pretend we want to make a trade on gamestop that's right the meme stock everyone's been talking about Let's talk about GME. Now, this is a daily chart. So every single bar here represents one full day of trading. We also have it set at the moment to candles, but we could have any of the following chart types. But for the sake of this example, we're going to use candles. Now, the next thing we're going to look through is what type of drawing do we want to make? What type of chart analysis are we interested in looking into? Well, there are all sorts of different ways and uh, processes to getting started, but let's do something a little different and let's use this anchored VWAP tool. So by the way, you saw just now how easily we looked at all of the drawing tools available to us and all of these tools were built for you, the trader or investor, so that you could do your research before you buy or sell. Don't ever buy or sell blindly. Do your research, mark up the chart, write down some levels, and then plan the trade. That's what this video is all about. This video is not a buy or sell recommendation at all. It is actually the opposite. This video is about doing your research before you buy or sell. You heard us, that's right, before you buy or sell. So what we've done is we've gone ahead here and we've selected our anchored VWAP drawing tool and now we've added it right to our GameStop chart. You saw how easy that was, we'll show you again. So for the sake of this video, we're going to show you Anchored VWAP, and what we're going to walk you through is possible on all of these drawing tools, whether you are using an arrow, a trend line, an extended line, or even if you're using long position, short position, short position, or even ghost feed, it's all going to be uh, possible to apply these same techniques, these tools. So let's begin. We select Anchored VWAP. Now, Anchored VWAP is Anchored Volume Weighted Average Price, which means it is using volume to calculate the average price. So once we have the tool selected, all we have to do is click on a starting point. Now, for this video, we're interested in finding a possible buy zone. So we see there was an earnings report here. We're going to hover our mouse over and click and our anchored VWAP line appears. We're gonna double click, we're gonna change this line to white, and we're going to let that just sit there. And we're actually going to make two anchored VWAP lines to really give us as much information as possible. And we're gonna do each anchored VWAP from earnings, so now we're gonna click again. So now we have two anchored VWAP lines starting from specific earnings reports, and we're also going to even do this earnings reports here. So let's make sure it's lined up. Perfect, click, and there we have it. So what we've done is we've constructed a set of three different anchored VWAP lines because what we are interested in is seeing the anchored volume weighted average price of GameStop on three different lines starting from three different points that all have to do with earnings because at the end of the day, earnings are the fundamentals that really drive a company. You could say that keep a company in business, that keep it alive, that show whether the trend is strong or weak. And that is why sometimes drawing anchored view up lines from earnings is so important. Now, if you were not paying attention to what we also just did there, we actually changed the colors of this anchored VWAP line. And to change the colors, all we have to do is double click and the settings menu 
pops up. We can move the settings menu anywhere on our screen to make this just easier to um, make our adjustments. And one of the three things that you'll see here are inputs. And inputs are, are essentially what it implies. It's an input. How is the line being calculated? What is the input? And in this point, in this instance, source, close. So this is going to be the closing price of the asset you're looking at. But if you click this drop down, you could do open. See, it changes slightly because now the source is the open, not the close. The high of the day it changes again. Or you can also do the low and some other open, high, low, close calculations. But let's stick to the close. The close is one of the most popular ways to uh, use indicators like this or drawing tools like this as well. Now we can click style and this is where we can do things like show price. So we check the box and as you see here, the price is going to disappear, disappears or shows. For the sake of this video, we want the price to show. And then of course there's visibility. Now visibility is really cool because this is what will appear on the time frame of your choice. So we're on a daily chart. See here, this, this means daily, but let's say Let's just say we went to a one minute chart. And when we go to a one minute chart, we don't want to see this line. Well, if we uncheck this box and then go to a one minute line, you'll see that that blue line is no longer there. The red line's there because it's the other anchored view up, but not the one that we had selected in this example. Let's go back to the daily. There it is. So visibility is super important when you're looking into your indicators. Double click go to visibility and now you can control on what time frame do you want to see your drawings or indicators why does this matter that's a great question well the way you analyze a daily chart might be totally different than the way you analyze a weekly chart so let's go to a weekly chart and when we click one week now every single candle every bar here represents one full week of trading so you might analyze this a little different than how you do a one day chart. So let's go back to the daily chart. And what we'll do now is double click this. So let's double click. Let's turn off weeks. Let's double click this. Let's turn off weeks. Let's double click this. We'll turn off weeks. So what we're doing is we're creating different viewing options depending on the time frame we're looking at. So now we go to a weekly chart. And if you notice, all of those VWAP lines are gone. That's what visibility means. But remember, we did not turn off visibility for a monthly. So here they are. When we go to the monthly chart, they're still there. The point is, it's up to you. What are you looking for? How do you want to set up your chart? What time frames do you want to perform your research on? Double click and you can customize this to your needs. We're going to turn them all back on because for the sake of this video, we actually want to see our drawings on every time frame, regardless of how small or large. So now that we've drawn our anchored VWAPs on this chart, as an example, one thing we might notice is from these really key earnings reports, we noticed that the anchored VWAP is actually creating sort of a you could almost say an important floor and we're just filling in this area in because it's the difference between these two earnings reports and it's creating this floor so now what we might might want to do is actually do additional research what we're really doing is we're studying price and volume at the same time with this drawing tool so we'll click and then let's click again and the latest earnings report, well, we can't do that because that literally just happened. So now what we've done is we have anchored VWAPs from the last one. You can see it starts here. Two, you can see it starts here. Three, you can see it starts here. And four, the last four earnings reports, we have anchored VWAPs. That is the average price using volume as the weight. So more volume at a specific price will have a bigger impact on the average price you see in this line. And now what we're going to do is plan our trade using these drawing tools. Once again, we're going to say what we're doing with this drawing tool can be done with 
all of these drawing tools. If you were uh, using rectangles, for example, to do support and resistance, well, you could do something similar maybe. You could mark down your levels, customize the colors, add some text. You could even extend it left or right, change the visibility. The point is what we're doing in this video can be used for all of the drawing tools that you have as a trader or investor to begin your research process and to start not only just learning more about markets, but taking your time and your approach. So now that we have all of these, this information presented on the chart, one thing that we may just notice here is actually pretty interesting in the sense that these two anchored VWAPs seem to align here and are almost creating a point of resistance. It's not breaking through here easily. So you could almost draw, you draw this out and say, all right, well, in this trade, we do not want to get involved unless someone with bigger hands, with more money, there's more of a bull market, there's more people holding, actually can catapult this through with conviction. But until this is really above these levels, well, we might find ourselves in an interesting position of risk and reward, and it could kind of fizzle or chop sideways. We'd rather not waste our time. So what we've done here is we've laid out the information so that we know what to look for next. Additionally, these two anchored VWAP lines here are creating almost some support that we could watch. So we're just gonna do this ridiculous line, but this is some support that we could watch. So if price were to come back down here, maybe this is the buy zone we want to get involved in. Okay, so what's our next step? Well, we'd probably say this is just a swing trade. This is just a trade we would make based on some information that we've observed. We do not want to risk too much. And what we do next is probably create alerts. Now, why would we create these alerts? We would create these alerts so that we can now walk away and get notified when something big actually happens. So this anchored VWAP line, if you look, is at 204.32. We're going to double, we're gonna right click actually on this, right on this price level, 204. We're gonna hit add alert, and we're gonna round up because big round numbers seem to just be respected a little more in markets. There's, we don't have scientific evidence of that, but it also just makes it easier to remember 205 crossing up. So what we're doing is we're creating an alert that if GME crosses up over 205, we will get an alert. Now we're going to set up all of our notifications. We want to get notified on the TradingView app. We want to get a pop-up on our desktop and we want an email. And that is what we want. We want all of that. So let's go to GME crosses 205. And let's say as the custom message, this is the alert we created in a YouTube video to show everyone more information about drawing tools. Click create. We'll get this alert because it is a, we're on a logarithmic chart and this is just telling us the difference between logarithmics and linear, but that's okay. And if you look closely now, the alert's been created, this orange line. GME crosses 205. So when GameStop crosses 205, we will get alerted. But remember, there's more to the story. What we've also examined with our brief research here is that these two levels here are also interesting in the sense that they could be a, a buy the dip opportunity. So if price can't break through here and it revisits, this, these anchored VWAP lines, well, we want to get alerted. That might be another point at which we wait for the right price to trigger. So we're going to right click. What we're going to do is sort of take it the middle point of both these VWAPs. We're not going to do 128 or 108. We're just going to kind of go, let's say, just about 118. Right click, add alert. We're going to do 118. We're going to do crossing down only once. And this is GME goes below 118. 
and uh, the alert from the YouTube video. So as you can see, we'll get this message. This will be the title of the alert. And here are all the different ways we'll be alerted. And we've selected crossing down. So we'll get alerted when price crosses down below 118. We click create, continue anyway. And there is our alert. We've now set up both of our alerts. So the point of this video is to plan your trade and to do your research. You have all of these drawing tools available to you and you can just get started by first understanding what type of trader or investor you are and what type of research you're looking to do, then selecting the drawing tool of your choice and drawing out the thing you observe or the plan you want to create or the strategy you have in mind. We, in this example, we used anchored view up, but once again, we really could have used any of these drawing tools available to us. We could have used fix, fixed range volume profile. We even could have used something like a Fibonacci retracement or a GAN fan or a pitchfork. Depends on who you are and what you're looking for. And then once we started to present that on the chart, we can double click on any of our drawing tools and we can customize them exactly to our needs, changing the colors, the inputs, the visibility, all possible. And then lastly, the way we capped it off is once we felt like we have these levels to watch, remember our research may not even be done yet, but the point is that we at least got the process started and then we added some alerts. This way we can now walk away and if it does cross these levels, we'll get these alerts and we instantly know what to do next or maybe not even what to do next, just to start looking because this is what we were waiting for. And the beautiful thing about alerts and just taking the time to do some research at all is price could go like this for the next year. And then one day it could go like that. And you will get an alert right here and you'll say to yourself, I remember when I made that alert. It might be a year from now, but the point is that the platform will do the work for you after you've taken the time to do the research and the time to plan out your thought process or long-term plan. Thank you for watching. You can leave any comments or questions below. We will be doing more and more videos like this. We have tons on our profile. Remember what we were showing you here is something that came down with all of these drawing tools. So we look forward to hearing your feedback and also just remember that you can always rec request new features or products in the comments as well and our team is following along so thanks for watching and we will be posting more videos in the coming days